I don't understand why he has forgiven her. How could he? She ruined him. Me either. I'm glad you came tonight, though, Heather. I thought you wouldn't as soon as you knew Yoko Ono was coming. He laughed. Not even Yo- Are you sure that you want to finish that sentence, Heather? She was cut off by a cold, angry voice at the entrance to the kitchen. Gabriel was furious. His entire body was tensed, and his fists were clenched at his sides. Good, you two are together. I've got something to say to both of you. Ariana is my girlfriend. Do you hear me? We will be together for the rest of our lives if I have anything to say about it, and I will not have you two treating her like shit. But will you have a say in it, Gabriel? Sebastian asked in a cool tone. Did you have a say in it the last time she left? Gabriel strode toward them, and Heather thought wildly that he was going to punch Sebastian, but he didn't. He got right in his face before replying, though. How fucking dare you, Seb? You don't have a single goddamn clue what you're talking about. Don't I? You don't think that we? He indicated to himself and Heather. Have any clue? We were there, Gabriel. Who the fuck do you think covered for you in fucking interviews about the Grammys? Who do you think carried the load at those first few concerts? Heather wouldn't fucking speak to anyone either. Who do you think was there comforting Harrison when he was terrified for Heather's well-being because she wasn't eating anything? Who was it that was watching their friends fall the fuck apart and couldn't do any goddamn thing about it because she wouldn't talk to any of us? Heather was shocked by this. She remembered being utterly numb at the time but had no idea how much she had worried Harrison. Gabriel looked stunned, then recomposed himself. Well, if you hadn't brought that bitch to the Grammys, none of it would have happened. Oh, fuck off, Gabriel, Heather interjected. That's bullshit and you know it. If it hadn't been Sebastian's bitchy date, it would have been something else. Ariana was just looking for a reason to leave. I don't know what her fucking problem was, but she sure as shit had one. I'd like to go home now. Their conversation was interrupted by a quiet, sad voice behind Gabriel, and they all turned to look at Ariana, with Hayden and Harrison standing behind her.